All right, so Pride and Joy by Stevie Ray Vaughan. So I'm going to start on the second string, third fret. I'm going to pick that along with the first string. So I'm going to count. Uh, we're going to come in on beat two. One, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and, and then I'm going to move up to second string, eighth fret, and the first string, seventh fret, with my middle and my pointer fingers. One, and two, and three, and four, and I'll do that again. One, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Then I'm going to go back to the fifth fret. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and. And then I'm going to go back to the third string, second fret, and I'm going to pick, bend, release and pick again, open third string, fourth string, second fret, and you can either pick that last open fourth string note or just take your finger off there and treat it like it's a pull off which I'm not sure which one he does. I might even listen to it and don't even hear the note. And it's just in my head, so. But anyways, let me give you this much of it before I go on to the chord, or the, yeah, the chord pattern. So one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two. And I picked that and she's used to doing it. So now through the progression, we're going to go through a 12 bar blues and the first, first four bars we're going to have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Here's measure three, measure four. Now the other thing that you can combine in here is, here I'm going to go through the notes first then let me go back as I talk my way through it. So open sixth string, E, G sharp on the fourth fret of the sixth string, fifth string, there's a B on the second fret, C sharp on the fourth fret, string four, second fret with your first finger, and then back to the sixth string, uh, fourth fret G sharp, and then the fifth string, second fret, the B, and then C sharp B. So let me walk through that once. It's kind of a vanilla way of playing it. Um, there's a shuffle feel to it, so you have like this long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short pattern with the notes. And then also, there's more than one string being played, so you can... I kind of mute the other strings. power chord to the open G, which I also throw in the fifth string A. If you do it fast enough, you don't even notice it, so. We'll do it a second time. Then we're going to take this whole pattern, move it down to root five open starting with the open fifth string and it's the same note pattern you're just starting on string five and also the a power chord to the g power chord at the end and that's for two measures and then back to okay so let me go back I'm going to do the first eight measures of the 12 bar blues. So we, we're doing that. And then here we go. Here's measure three, four, measure five, we're changing. Measure six, 
or I'm sorry, seven and eight. Let me do that one more time, sorry. So, each one of these is here. That's the first two measures. And we'll do it again. Measures three and four. Now, measures five and six, we move down to the fifth string. Seven and eight, we're back up to the sixth string. Now, if you want, for measure nine, sometimes I'll use a B7 chord and just like, uh, I'll do some stabbing, like down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. And you could do the same thing with the A7, or you could go back to, if it were the A7. So, one and two and three and four, and one and two and three and four. And then back to, and then this time, you're gonna take a B7, and then slide it up a fret. So, okay. and I'll show you that a little more in depth, but that'll get you started with pride and joy. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, enjoy.